Notts County Talk, given my instant reaction after our 1 0 defeat to Harrogate. And without Tom, he's had uh, other commitments elsewhere, so he won't be able to join me tonight. But nevertheless, we go on. First thing I want to get out of the way the elephant in the room, Carl Roberts. I mean, if there's any player you don't want to see going down injured in that manner, it's Carl Roberts. He looked like he was in a lot of pain. You know, we've just got to really hope that it's not as long term as it looked because it looked quite severe. So, fingers crossed for Carl and, you know, speedy recovery to him. We hope more the best because the sooner he's back, the better for Knots. Um, but yeah, on to, on to the game. Now, we came out, we, we were quite sloppy on the ball. Our passing was not far off being awful, really. You know, some simple passes were going far astray. Five yard, ten yard passes were being put too far in front of players. We made it quite difficult for ourselves, I thought. But in saying that, you know, I think a 1-0 a, a scoreline against a Harrogate that are in League 2 and they're a few weeks ahead of us in terms of their league started, so they've had a few games in the league. We, we didn't do too bad, you know. <laughs> Give or take, me and Tom did, did say that Knots were going to win. Tom did say 3-0, but, you know, we won't talk about that. Um, they were the better side, and rightly so, you know. They should really have beaters when you look at it on paper we did have a strong side and I do feel sort of like there was spells in the game you know count a few counter attacks where you're thinking we have got that threat Ruben Rodriguez he had a he had a great game for me man of the match for me personally he was making things happen looked good on the counter Chickson another player that I do want to mention he, he looked good you know he, he's got that drive to go forward didn't really get involved too much, but when he did, you know, he seemed to do the right thing, which is good because there was a few players I thought that, you know, even like such as Carl Roberts, it's it's not nice to, to criticise the performance after the way he's gone out tonight, but it wasn't one of his best. And Stardard was saying it throughout the game, you know, he, he might be feeling the pressure of he's got to live up to expectations of last season. And he could be right. You know, there is a lot of pressure on him, I do believe, to perform to the level that he was at last season. But obviously now that sort of goes out the window. But like I said previously, we're hoping a sp speedy return for him and hope seeing him back in the not shirt soon. Other players to mention, I think Wharton had a decent game. Uh, he, did, he did that like cheeky knock around the defender in the 18-yard box. You know, he, he played fairly well. Slocum could have could have had two or three goals in the first half. He pulled off some great saves. Back to old ways. But when you look across the squad. It, it could have been a lot worse. I think defensively we were okay. Sam Graham is putting himself on the line. So was Rawlinson. So it's back to old ways, I think, for those two. It's nice to see Sam Graham, you know, play, playing back again and being first choice because he's a young player. And I, I do think he's going to have a good career, you know, fair play to him. But yeah, in, in terms of what to go off, you know, it's our real first competitive game. Did we set up like it was going to be? A real competitive game. I believe we did. You look at the start on 11. It's very strong. Maybe some would argue Enzio should have been in. But he wasn't. You've got Ruben Rodriguez, Cal Roberts and Enzio sort of fighting for similar positions. And, you know, out of those three, it's very difficult to pick two to start. So I do feel for Ardley in that respect. But in saying that, on the flip side, you look at the way there was, there was times in that game where Harrogate had have... 5, 10, 15 minutes of just pure pressing on us and we didn't look like we had a way out or a plan B. So I think that is something we're going to have to work on. But luckily for us, it is obviously our pre-season and obviously it's sad that we've been knocked out and we don't get that opportunity to go to Wembley. But it's it's a good point for to see those things in a competitive game to have that edge on teams in our league, I believe. Because you've got to think the other, the other teams in our league now aren't going to have a competitive game. They're just going to have pre-season. It's not at the same level. So I do think that is going to be good for Knots in general. But nevertheless, it goes back to the point of, is the league even going to start after the news that came out today? But me and Tom will be doing a video about that in the coming days. So let me know, guys, what you thought of the game, what you thought of the way we set up, the way we played in the comments below. And thanks for watching.